Hi. Hello. And welcome. Welcome to another episode of Marty's Minute Meditations. If you enjoy Marty's Minute Meditations, please visit my Patreon page. Become a monthly donor. You know, become a martyr for manhood. Give a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty-five dollars. You know, Marty needs Marty needs help to get these messages out there, right? He needs he needs your help. You're the only one who can help him. Right? Tell your friends about Marty's Minute Meditations if you enjoy it. Maybe, maybe Marty's Minute Meditations is your guilty pleasure, right? You're you're afraid to tell your friends about it. But just nudge him in that direction. Maybe maybe you could cover it up. Maybe you could go, you know, I don't really like this show, this podcast, but you might enjoy it. I don't. I don't enjoy it. Of course you're you're lying when you say that because you love to go home and, and listen to Marty's Minute Meditations. Right? It really it really helps you start your day or, or end your day, right? So tell your friends. Tell your friends. If you're a new listener, thanks for hopping on board. You know, there's always room for you. If you're an old listener, thanks thanks for staying. Thanks for sticking around. You know, the more people we have on this boat, the more people we have to paddle our way through this torrential river, the safer we'll get to our destination together. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Men, do you feel like you live in the moment? Are you here with me right now? Are you in this space? Are you here in the moment? I want you to ask yourself that question. You know, really ask that question to yourself, Dave in Missouri, Pierre in Paris. Jose in Mexico City, ask yourself that question. Am I living in the moment? It's a tough question. It's really hard to know if you're living in the moment. Because if you stop and think, am I living in the moment? Am I here right now? Then you've just taken yourself out of the moment. Because you're thinking about the moment. But still ask yourself, you know, start exercising that muscle of asking questions. You know, am I living in the moment? Am I here in the now? Are you in the moment listening to this podcast? Or is your mind trailing off? Is my podcast just going on in the background while you're, you know, chopping veggies, cooking up a soup? Hmm? Ask yourself that. It's okay. I'm not judging you for cooking. You know, you find the time. You find the time to cook. Maybe you, you like to put me on in the background. Just just listen to my voice. You find that enough of a, a meditation. I hope you listen to it more deeply. I hope, I hope you make my podcast the moment, right, for you. If you don't, there's no offense. I, I'm not taking it hard. It's not, it's not bad. You're living your life how you need to live it. Right. But sometimes we 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 don't really take in everything around us. You know, we put something on in the background and and we're doing other things. I like to just have noise in the back. Right. That's what you say. Say to yourself. I like to have noise in the back. Right. What's that mean? That's something you're avoiding. Something you're avoiding. Maybe you're knitting and listening to podcasts, but, you know, you're just knitting. Right. You're, you're, you're something that takes up enough that you're not really listening in this moment to the podcast, which is okay. I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you right now. It's totally okay. I, I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt if that's the case. Marty can take it, okay? 
But maybe we can get you into, you know, being more in the moment. Right? Dave in Missouri. Pierre in Paris. Jose in Mexico City. Really ask yourself that question, am I in the moment? Because, I mean, I would love to ask every man, right, in the world if they're living in the moment. But I, I can't, you know, I can't go everywhere I want to go. I want to say it, ask them to their face, right? Just go go up to their door, knock on their door. Hello, my name's Marty. You're Dave. Uh, yeah, are you living in the moment? Are you living in the moment? Because if you're not living in the moment, you're not living your life, right? You're not in life. You're not in it. Life is the moment, right? So I'd love to go to each one of those places and ask you it directly. But there's just, uh, there's probably around, you know, 4 billion men in the world. I can't take that time to see each man and ask them that question. So please, please ask it of yourself. Be responsible for you. Because no one else is going to be responsible to ask that question. You know, Marty gets the ball rolling, but you, you got to keep pushing the boulder up the hill, you know? Especially men. Really love to ask men that. Because men avoid the moment. That's right, men. I hate to generalize here, right? But but we do. We just We just avoid the moment all the time. You know, we're thinking about the bills. We're thinking about how do we make more money, right? We think about the past. We're bogged down the, by the past. Oh, you know, why did I do that? Why did I do this? Maybe that wasn't a good decision, right? Instead of being now, you can't change the past. You're here. You're here in this moment. You're here right now. <sighs> you can't avoid the moment. You know, a moment is like a bear in the woods. When you come across that bear... You know, the, your first impulse is just to run away. I'm going to run down this right path, or I'm going to run down this left path. I'm scared. I don't want to do this, right? I don't want to face the bear, right? But here's the thing. If you run from that bear, that bear's going to chase you. It's going to chase you down. Whether you go left, right, up a tree, it's going to chase you down, and it's going to maul you, Right? That bear's going to maul you. So what do you do? You look that bear in the face. You take you take it as a moment. You look it in the face and you go, Bear, I know you're here. Because that's the only way you can live symbiotically with that bear. That's the only way that bear is going to sit down and have a conversation with you. And help you learn about yourself and your future. Where you come from. Right, maybe and if you and if you open up to that bear, it'll it'll hold you in its arms. Those big soft bear arms with its big soft grizzly belly. Wouldn't that be nice? That moment. See, I did it. The moment. That moment with the moment. Cause you truly are sharing a moment with the moment. The moment is it's not it's 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 with you if you want it to be. It's with you if you want it to be. Now, I know a lot of you uh, men are out there going, well, Marty, you know, what do you mean by the moment? Right? What, what do you mean? What does the moment mean? That's a good question. Luckily, we have dictionaries. Merriam-Webster would define moment as a minute portion or point of time. Okay. All right. A comparatively brief period of time. All right, present time, a time of excellence or conspicuousness, time, 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 that's what the moment is, it's time, right, but what is time, what is time, well, Merriam-Webster would define time as the measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. A non-spatial continuum that is measured in terms of events which succeed one another from past through present to future. The point or period when something occurs, an occasion, a moment, if you will. But what? What? An appointed, fixed, or customary moment 
or hour for something to happen, begin or end. How, how, uh, even this one, an opportune or suitable moment. Time is moment. Moment is time. If we cannot define either word without the other, then what do they mean on their own? In a vacuum. If we put a moment in a vacuum and go, there's no time here, can the moment exist? Mm. If we put time in a vacuum, aside from a moment, there's no moment. Can it be time? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Big questions, right? Big questions. Things are a little unclear. A little unclear. So let's go back. Let's go back to define. I know. I know you're lost. You're going, Marty, I'm freaking out. I don't know what a moment or time is. I know. It's okay. We're here in this together, okay? So let me just keep defining. Let's let's go back to Miriam Webster. Miriam, help us out here, right? Moment. Importance and influence or effect. A cause or motive of action stage in historical time or logical development I'm not, I'm not really seeing much there I'm not really seeing much there that that doesn't really those aren't really definitions that that really jive with what we're thinking about they, they, they don't work right they don't work and one of them is is obsolete so that makes sense so forget those a tendency or measure of tendency to produce motion especially about a point or access the product of quantities such as a force and the distance to a particular axis or point the mean of the nth powers of the deviations deviations moments are deviations of the observed values in a set of statistical data from a fixed value the expected value of a power of the deviation of a random variable from a fixed value 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 keeps coming up think about that value that's important value it means it means that this time or this moment means something it has meaning value right <sighs> thank you miriam webster for what you have to offer us to to explain what the moment is but i i, I got to say i don't think that even the great Miriam does the, the 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 definition justice. I still don't know. I still don't know what it is. Do you know? Do you know? Do you really know what the moment is? When I ask you to live in the moment, do you really know what it is? After using that definition, I still don't know. Right? Because it's not what the moment is. The moment can't be defined, right? It's ever-changing. It's ever-changing like an ocean, right? It's fluid like water, you know? It can't be defined. And what, what is that to you? If you had to define the moment, what, what is it for you? Because it's yours. The moment's yours. It's yours to have. Define it. right? I wish I could go to, you know, Missouri. And, and Paris and Mexico City and ask you guys, right? Dave, Pierre, Jose, how do you define the moment? What is the moment? Are you living in it? You know, but the, the moment's always coming. It's always headed towards you. It's, it's the future. The future is the future. The moment's the moment, right? The future will be the moment soon, right? The future's approaching you. It's approaching as a moment. It's coming at you as a moment, and it's here. It's almost here. It's almost here, and when it arrives, it's a moment, but then as soon as it gets there, it's gone. It's gone. Is it a second? Is it a millisecond? Or is it even the most infinitesimal millisecond of a millisecond? What is it? What is it? Nanosecond? I don't know how, I don't know how you define it. Does time even matter? Do we need to, do we need to measure it, right? To figure out what the moment is. Wow. You know, and then and then that moment's in the past. It's gone. It's gone. It's it's not it's always shifting. It's always the future. The moment, the past, the moment, the now. The now, the moment, right? Because we always worry about the future. We're always lost in the future. If we're lost in the future, we're not in the moment. The future is the moment that hasn't happened yet. You could plan for the future moments, but they're not the moment. You're not living in the moment. We you know we worry all the time. You know, I'm, I'm gonna, am I gonna get that cool car in the future? Right? I'm gonna save up. I'm gonna save up to buy this great car. 
right? Or we worry about the future, about the bills we're going to get. Oh, what if I get into an accident, right? What's my family going to do? Worrying about the future. Are you living in the moment when you do that? Are you living in the moment when you're concerned about the future? No, you've placed your spiritual self into a place that isn't the moment. You stepped outside of the sphere of the moment into the outer outer ridges of the future. You've put your spirit self out there and you've limited it. You've weakened it because you've extended the distance from its soul center. And the center of the soul happens in the moment. But what about the past? Well, the past. The past is filled with all the moments that have already happened. They were moments. They no longer are moments. Right? You can remember a moment, but you know, we always we always forget moments. Right? Because in a moment there's multiple moments. And if you forget one part of that moment, are you really remembering the whole moment? Are you making up the moment? Right? Are you putting it putting it in a different place? Hmm? When you look at the past, are you looking at the real moment that happened or the moment that you're fabricating? Because now once you've had your moment, you can make it whatever you want. That's what the past is. But the moment is what it is. Future moments you can build to. Past moments you could fabricate. But the moment, the this moment, can't, can't lie. You can't fake it. You can't fake the moment. And if you aren't in this moment, you aren't living your life. It's a lot to digest. It's a lot. I know. That's a lot. That's a lot of talk about the moment. But I think it's important to ask yourself that, right? Because if you're if 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 you're not in the moment, you're dead. You might as well just be dead. You know, soon they're going to be coming. You know, they're going to pinpoint some science around the moment. And they're going to figure out how to get you in the moment. And they're going to make some drug. Right? They're going to make It's like uh, Viva Now. Right? See your doctor about Viva Now. Do you feel like you don't live in the moment? Do you get caught in the future and in the past but never stay in the moment? Take Viva Now. Side effects include stroke. Right? Memory loss. Lack of motivation. You know they're going to do that. They're going to make drugs for the moment. Right? They're going to make drugs for the moment. So you could be in the moment. But then they're, the government's going to use it against you. Right? They are gonna, they're going to make you not, uh, really lazy. So you don't prepare for your future. And they're going to make you forget about your past. So you can never get mad. Right? It's like in that, in that book. Right? Brave New World. Where they give them the drug and it's like, oh, it's okay. That's what it is. They're just going to give you a drug so you're like, oh, I'm totally in the moment all the time. But if we just ask ourselves to be in the moment, then those pharmaceutical companies and the governments will take over our lives. Okay? And I wish I could go to each one of your houses and ask you, are you in the moment? But I can't, I can't fly out, you know, to Missouri. Right? I can't, I can't, I can't take a train. To Paris. I can't take a boat to Mexico City. Okay? So you have to ask yourself. That's the only way we could save humanity. From the, from, the, from the cold, dead grip of the pharmaceutical companies and the government. Okay? So ask yourself that. Ask yourself that. So for today's meditation, we're going to make bit of a momentation, right? Meditating on the moment. Let's take a breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Close your eyes, as long as you're not driving or operating heavy machinery. Just relax. Focus in on the moment. Grab a landmark to understand what the moment is. Maybe maybe to this tone. You want to listen to this tone. Right? Focus in on that. That's your anchor. 
It's what it's going to keep you here. Always focus on the tone. You'll never lose yourself with the tone. Sorry, I, I dropped the tone for a second. It's okay. Just focus in on it. You're back. You're back to the moment, right? Now imagine that this tone in your mind's eye starts to create a little, little dot of light, right? Focus on that dot of light with the tone. That dot, that's the moment. That's where you're at right now. That's your moment. Just follow it. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take, take a breath. That, that, was, that was Marty's fault. Marty admits to that. But you should still stay in the moment, right? Even with all, all that distraction. Stay in the moment. And we're back. We're here, in the moment. Focusing on that dot and the tone. Maybe that dot opens up a little bit. Maybe it becomes wider, bigger. That moment breathes as you breathe. You inhale. The moment inhales, right? Let it feed you. All the other things happening in the world, they're not the moment. They're not your moment. These are things you can't do anything about. You have no power over them. But you know what you do have power over? The moment. Take that breath in. Watch that dot just grow. Enter that dot when it becomes big enough. So you are the moment. Feel yourself filled with the moment, filled with this, with this, with this unexplainable, undescribable feeling, right? Something that's beyond it, and it all started from this tone, right? It all started from this tone, and now you're here, you're in the moment. There's nothing that could take you from the moment. There's nothing that could, that could rip you from that space. There's nothing that will take you away. Mm. Just pay attention to that sound, right? That's the sound. It's the moment. It's where you're at. Even if it changes, mm, that tone is still the moment. And breathe. Breathe that in. Mm. Right? Feel that moment. And let that dot close. Let that close inside of you. It's not separate from you anymore, breathing. It's within you. The moment is inside you. It's inside you always. That was big. That was a big moment. It's a lot of conversation, right? But it didn't overwhelm you. I was very passionate about the moment. Because we can't define it. It's ever changing. It's shifting. Right? Because the moment's you. You. You take up a point in space and time. And, and to take up one point in space and time. Because it, it isn't just time. Right? When we talk about the moment, we can't just limit it to time. It is a moment because of space, because of where you physically are at that moment. Breathe and inhabit that space fully. Honestly, truly be there. Because that's what being alive is. It isn't staying in the past. Because all living things that have ever lived have lived in the past. But they may still be dead. Babies will be born in the future and will be alive then. But right now in this moment, they're just dreams. Us right now, we're here. We are alive in this moment, you know? Right? 
Living in the moment makes you special because you're the only one at this point in time at the very place you're at. Seeing what you see, hearing what you hear, touching what you touch, smelling what you smell, tasting what you taste, feeling right now what you feel. <sighs> Encapsulating every flaw and embellishment you have being what you are in this moment is being in the moment and the moment is only yours this moment the moment you're experiencing is not separate from who you are who you are is the moment you're the point in space and time you're the space that you are inhabiting. Your body, your consciousness is the perspective. The moment is yours. It's up to you if you want to be here for it. <sighs> Thanks for listening to another episode of Marty's Minute Meditations. Hope you feel like you're in the moment now. Hope you feel that you can go into the moment later on. If you enjoy Marty's Minute Meditations, if Marty gives you the moments you like, please become a patron. Donate monthly on my Patreon page. Also check out Marty's YouTube channel. He's got a nice, nice videos going on in there I hope all of you come back to share more moments with me because moments make life but until then I'll be here waiting ready to meditate dang it